The suspect in the hit and run that claimed the life of an infant says he did it. Court documents reveal today that Gary Shineman confessed to his bosses about his role in the crime. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas was there as Shineman went to court today and he has the latest. Mr. Shineman, did you do that crime? Do you feel bad about the baby? The crash occurred last Tuesday night on West 38th Street. Shineman was driving the black Dodge Charger. He tried to pass a Chevrolet in front of him and hit it in the rear and sent it spinning. It struck the guardrail and the seven-month-old baby was ejected from the vehicle. The child died after being transported to Riley Hospital. The driver and the passenger of the Charger fled the scene. But the next day, Shineman told his boss, can't live with it anymore, can't sleep, can't eat. I'm just going out of my mind. Do you know about the accident where the infant was ejected from the car? I was the driver. Shinneman works at Moran Company Incorporated. I talked to the general manager. Very surprising. He's a very kind gentleman. He's very considerate, great employee. He was always by our side, always doing work like he's supposed to do, and just a very kind person. And shocking for them. Very shocking. And prosecutors asked for and received 72 hours to complete formal charges. Shineman was driving on a suspended license. His next hearing is set for Wednesday morning. He's held on $60,000 bond in the Marion County Jail.